Hey guys, I thought I'd update you on the new Video Lab release and how to update your pre existing packs or even to, you know, start making some new stuff with this beta version. So, this is going to allow you to export to the new Z Pack format, which automatically will install to your phone. So, gone are the days to manually install this um, through iTunes and drop, you know, just take a folder and drop it in iTunes and it was a funky install so now you can just grab anything off Google Drive and it will automatically install just using your phone and you know with the OPZ app open so I'm gonna go through that right now and hopefully you guys will learn something and uh, let's take a pre-existing project and start messing with it all right I have this shader project that I'm gonna update this is the original project so you can see the root folder is called tunnels 2 and then in here you'll see all the files associated with that so I'm gonna take the root folder copy that and I'm gonna to go to this over here I'm gonna make another so just go anywhere copy it and make an 03 paste it in here wait for that to finish all right now I'm gonna open up my unity hub navigate to it so I'm gonna add it up here go to that 03 folder select the tunnel 02 and so it's still pointing to the old unity version here so here's where you want to switch that unity version after you install it so in my case it's 2018.429 you want to get the f1 version all right so i selected that now i'm going to open it up and then it gives you a little prompt you know you want to, you're going to upgrade it and that's okay i'm going to hit confirm all right now that it's opened up we're going to import the video lab asset pack here so you want to go back and grab that Unity package and you know, download it here. And just when it downloads, just double click. And that'll send it right to Unity. It's going to check everything in your project and see what's different. So everything with these little icons, Unity is checking to see if these scripts are different and it'll update them automatically. So I usually just hit all just in case and then hit import. All right, so that seemed to work fine. Uh, let's go to our project settings. And here's where you want to change this in your player. So you go to project settings and then go to player. Then on the first tab here, You'll see this dot net three five. You want to change this to dot four. Uh, restart. So this will take a while. Just gonna update everything to four. So that's all good. You want to go here and I left these all auto graphics. Um, depends what you want to do. But I just left them on auto for now. And I think you're ready to go. So you want to go to build video packs. So now it has this new window that comes up. It finds your project file. And so, you know, just for clarity here, your project file is going to be um, your scene file with the asset bundle label here. So you have to set that label in order for it to define your project. So make sure you set that first. And then you want to go to build. And just name it anything you want. And then um, 
We'll find a texture to put in here. All right, and this texture can be square, maybe uh, 512 by 512 works like a PNG. That's fine. And then I think we're all ready. So we hit build. It'll ask you where to build to. I'm going to do a V2 here. All right, so this is the pack that I put inside Discord. And I clicked on it and it said if you want to open in the OPZ app. So I click this button here, open an OPZ. And then I get a little prompt. It says, do you want to overwrite the VLC Tunnels 2 pack? And I'll, hit, I'll say yes. And then it says import it. And that's how you know it works. You get that little green bar. You go inside the motion tab. Now you have this really nice icon that you can show off you know, and you, you get credits, uh, the name of the pack right there. So yeah, it's a great new addition and uh, really quick and easy to install now. So I encourage you guys to play around with it and, um, you know, send these things out. Yeah, if you had any questions about installing this stuff or importing any of these things, um, feel free to head to the Discord and link should be in the description there. Um, yeah, the track is by Bolts again. If you like his music, go ahead and click the link below. Um, all right, until next time, guys. Later.